not sleep in the park. Did you see me sleeping? No, a city worker saw you sleeping. See me? So did anybody? Does anybody have it on film? Don't proof. Film. Proof. No. Did you? Did you educate them? Did she came you out and tried to say you, that you just saw me pull up. Oh, no, no. Another side knife. No, because they can come both. Tell okay, me what's cool. Going on. Well, she walked up, said you can't film from here, and I investigate, investigative detention. So I don't have okay. to further your investigation. No, but if you impede my investigation, I'm not impeding investigation. Yeah, I have the right no, no, not no. to when answer questions. When you refuse to identify yourself, right, you, you are getting a better. Decision. Can we just talk over here? What's wrong with talking to me here? I just want to talk to you in front of my car. All right, go ahead and walk. I, I prefer you in front of me. No, nope, I'm mind. not going to walk in front of you. Amid the hustle and bustle of daily life, unexpected confrontations have arisen between a citizen and law enforcement. As the police insistently demand that he provide identification without a clear reason, the situation becomes tense and controversial. This is when the necessity of recording police actions becomes clearer than ever. These videos not only capture the truth, but can also serve as crucial evidence in cases where citizens' rights are violated. In that moment, will he have the courage to stand up for his rights and not yield to pressure from law enforcement. Join us in watching this video to explore this dramatic story and learn about the rights of every citizen in modern society. Because in a world where human rights can be overlooked, standing up and protecting one's own rights is of utmost importance. I know my rights and I am not afraid. You are overstepping your bounds and infringing on my freedom. This statement perfectly captures this citizen's confidence when facing law enforcement. That's none of your business. All right, well, because I'm gonna enjoy swimming around in it for well, stomping on my civil of, rights. I have rights. I have rights. Okay. Imagine one day, while enjoying a moment of relaxation in the park, you are unexpectedly approached by the police and unjustly accused of trespassing on public property. It feels utterly unfair and frustrating, doesn't it? This is the story of Theodore, a man experiencing harassment from the police without any valid reason. They irrationally demand that he show his identification. However, instead of panicking or resisting, Theodore decides to remain silent, an action that protects his rights guaranteed by the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution. Figure that out, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand on my, I'm gonna stand on my Fifth Amendment right. Any questions without a lawyer present? Well, like I said, you're not being interrogated for any any crime. Right, because I haven't committed a crime. In order, in order for you to commit a crime that you're committing now you have to you're, you're stomping all over my rights what am i stomping what rights am i stomping yes, i have the right to be here i i, I haven't done i haven't committed you're, i haven't committed a crime but yet you're going to try to trespass me heard of somebody else who t who told you i've committed a crime i don't think you're no no one no one's telling you you've committed a crime so I haven't committed a crime, yeah. and you're admitting that, that I have not committed a crime. And we all understand that, according to the First Amendment, citizens have the right to freedom in public spaces, and especially in places like parks. There's no reason for the police to approach and confront individuals without cause. The U.S. Constitution always stands to protect us from baseless invasions and harassment. In this situation, Theodore demonstrated calmness and clarity when facing the police, choosing to speak directly with the supervisor to ensure that everything would be resolved according to the rights that the law guarantees citizens. Okay, on all the civil rights of mine that you are stomping on, are you willing, you're going to lose your qualified immunity. You are too. Let me ask you something. Do you have a swimming pool in your business? All right, well, because I'm going to enjoy swimming around in it when I own your house. Okay. Stomping on my civil of, rights. I have rights. I have rights. Okay, so... This is the United States of America. Um, Sebastian has their own uni code, and it states you cannot sleep. And No, a city worker saw you sleeping. This is why we're here. Did you see me... Did anybody... Does anybody have it? Proof. Don't Proof. We don't need that. Oh, you don't need that. So you can just accuse somebody of something. Please. Proof. Did okay. you finish the paper? Yep, I just... That's all I'm saying. All right, so... You know, courts, you know, they're slow. I'll be here, Can't do this to people. That's why we. That's why we have the American Constitution. It's gonna work. So I'm You're gonna, gonna get certain this. paperwork. You it's are. either you have. You take the time. You meet them down the road. Can I? 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 Can
a really good lawsuit here that I'm going to enjoy okay, upholding so, my constitution. Like I said, you can't trespass. So if you want to, you can't trespass somebody from a public place. Okay. Well, she just did. So well, I just did there. the paperwork. You have it on video. I have a video. You, res you refuse to sign. Right. Nevertheless, I, I you know. Still, you got. You still got it. Okay. Try to make an effort to leave the park. But I don't have to. Okay. So are you refusing to leave? Simple yes or no question. Well, uh, look. It's cer up? it's certainly under duress. You all right? Yeah. Are you gonna leave? Are you gonna arrest me? If you don't leave after multiple warnings, yes. Are you gonna leave? Yes or no? I'm giving you like a bunch of chances to just get up and. It's a Friday. We, we don't want to do that to you on a Friday. But you've already been given multiple verbal warnings. You're still not leaving. So what? At, well, at, well, what point, if, what, at this point, hey, it's hey, gonna hey, be up hey, to you. Hey, if well, you what, get about, what about? What about? I really don't have anywhere to go. And I'm and I've come here to try to take care of me. See see all this? She just on my chest. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like on my soul and my back. I have skin cancer. Okay. Cancer Institute here. Okay? Okay. So I decided to to try to settle in this cancer place, you know. Yeah. Uh, I've even talked to people about work, you know. I mean I, I mean people are saying, yeah, you know, you know, you know, we got work for you. Okay. But now the government and, you know, well, we're like, here because we got called, not be here just to bother then you. Then go talk to the people that called you and ask them for proof that I'm kind of a crime. Because a crime Theodore. has not been committed. Theodore. No crime has Theodore. been committed. Are you going to go, yes or no? I'm still waiting for the supervisor. He will be here, but you can meet him down over there. Off, off Why this can't property? I just sit right here? Because you trespass from this property. You can't you can. trespass me from public Are property. Are you going to go, yes or no? And speak with him. Or her, whichever the case may be. Okay. That much. Right. And I mean, I'm a veteran. He is on his way, but he was. On I'm a ve I'm a veteran, U.S. Navy. I'm I'm just I'm just a human being trying to survive here. Like that. Then, then why then why are you we, doing what you're doing? Because we were called here. We don't we don't. Like, I didn't call, call you. No, we were called here. Okay, this is why we're here called didn't you ask him uh hey what's the dispatcher. guy doing i'm not a dispatcher i don't ask this kind of question all right all right, all right fine that's fine I, I i get it i i get it. i've been around for 60 years now so i i kind of you know what y'all are doing i get it you got it you would have got nothing left already but apparently you don't get no, it. no no so no you know what i'm standing up for, i'm st i'm standing up for my rights okay and if i don't stand up for my right okay. well, like i said so you have been to make to walk okay. to the supervisor. I tell you what, I'll give you. I'll tell you what, I'll give you this. If the supervisor tells me to get up and leave, then then let me trespass. speak with your supervisor because you two obviously do not know the law. The supervisor does. If he doesn't know the law, then I will get up and go. Okay, if he tells you, if we're telling. Yeah, you, but he may not. Okay, well I'm telling you he's going has, to. Has your supervisor talked to? Whoever made you come over here and harass me? No, you don't go back talking to the people that. So talk you, you don't think for yourself at all. Uh, you do. Uh, it's not what I'm you waiting. Want. I'm waiting. I'm it's waiting. It's not what I'm, you want. It's I, not what I'm, you want. I'm, I'm waiting for the supervisor. If the, I, I'll, t I'll give you this. And if he tells me I have to leave, then I'll go. What difference? But I'm, I'm gonna. Is, I'm standing up it, for my what rights. What does it make between us and the supervisor? What's the difference? Because you don't know the law. And maybe your supervisor does, but you know, maybe he doesn't either. If he, if your supervisor tells me to get up and go, then I'll go. Otherwise, I'm standing up for my rights. I'm gonna stand up for them. That's what America is about, you know. Yeah. So you That's why I started saying. a YouTube channel. So if you're, my supervisor says the same thing that we did, and then you listen to him, so obviously we do know the law. We just push him. That makes sense. Yeah. No, I, want, I don't want to be harassed. That's what I want. We've been nothing but nice. Exactly. But again, we're just asking you. Uh, we're literally asking you. Make an attempt to get up and walk over. Yeah, arrest you for trespassing. Get up and, and leave. Because That's you know, you, you know, do. I was just sitting here minding my own business when you walked and harassed me. Because we've already. And eventually, I, 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 you know, here in a little bit, I, I would have been going and and you know trying to get on my life. And now you. Told you a, a, and now you have me pinned down to, to this. Leave. Okay. You now you have me. We're asking you to. You decided to sit down. 
No, you decided to come up to me. I wasn't bothering anybody. I was here all alone. When we encounter police officers who don't understand the law or deliberately violate it, even when we are in the right, we can still easily run into numerous troubles. Such situations not only frustrate us, but also shake our faith in justice. Therefore, it is crucial to cultivate knowledge of the law. Only by understanding our rights can we stand firm and protect ourselves against injustices, just like in this case. It is truly unfortunate that even an officer cannot distinguish what constitutes a public space. Public sidewalk, that's the only reason I hung around. I was filming the buildings and she said I couldn't. Like and she said she was calling them, the cops. Right? Cops, you're going to... I'm like, all right, you can educate. You can and I told them they're going to get an education. Which I want to share with you some insights into why the police appeared in this situation. I hold no bias against the woman who called the police. She is an ordinary citizen, and perhaps due to her limited understanding of the law, when she saw someone filming in a public area, she felt confused and unsafe. This is a natural reaction, but it also highlights the need for us to raise awareness of our rights and responsibilities in society. Nothing but tell you I'm allowed to film from right here and chill. Have a good day, sir. Have a, yeah, I wouldn't call Matt Turnberry look bad. I'm here just to record the buildings and you trying to call the cops? All right, that's what Turnberry Palace does. Here comes this lady again, look, here she comes. She's gonna try to do the cam bag. Look, there's the cam bag, so I'm not allowed to record her, but she wanted to record me. Look at yeah. hypocrite. Yeah, we are. So you're a hypocrite. Why are you, why are you harassing me? I just why are you sure closer I have than six feet? Why are you closer metro. than six feet? Your daddy and your daddy gonna tell you what's up. He sure is. Yeah, he gonna tell you how I'm allowed to record anything I can see from public and you can't do nothing. You're lies. You good. Well, okay, good. So you can step back. You good? I look on your camera though. I know I look good. Sure. It's the new hero now. You like that? Yeah. So she thinks that you can't record. Didn't. I just said you needed permission she said from that I can't record on public property. I nope. can't record whatever I want. I said this is you what needed she said. permission record from whatever I want on this public sidewalk. You can't tell me when I'm recording. Did you get Metro call? I'm waiting on it. I hope they did. Daddy's going to tell him what's up, too. He's allowed to record Metro whatever he wants. There's no trespass. I haven't been This is you can't trespass me. So they're trying to trespass me on public sidewalk where she's at right now. You see the public sidewalk? They can't trespass that. He's from public sidewalk. They can't do anything. I can't even hear you now. I can't even wait till they get here. He Your camera and no on my camera. On property I got two different anything. cameras going right now. Let's go live. So at least we got the live audience for this. He keeps over talking. Let's go live. So we're going to go live right now here. Right now, probably about five, and, nine. Uh, he got on some night gray and black, white Nike. So those, she, she knew exactly what they were. Uh, looks like a yeah, she, she jealous. I'm sorry. Tell them how I'm on public property. Why don't you tell them that? Why don't you tell them I'm on public property? I got it on film the whole time. The whole time. A cops on an innocent person. Look at this lady. You're gonna call the cops on an innocent person. That's what she doing. She's an innocent person. She trying to call the cops. She gonna learn today. She can't get you out public property for me to learn, dude. I'm gonna work learn. Off at three. All I'm, you're gonna learn. I'm doing my job. I'm instructed to come tell you you can't. Maybe you're good. Well, you, you maybe go. you're gonna learn. There you go. He's gonna get you okay. Good and okay. Well, sir. I'm here as long as you're doing your job, you're that's good. When the Metro Las Vegas officer arrived, I wasn't defending him. I was simply hoping for a lawful approach to the situation. However, disappointment washed over me as the police immediately demanded that the citizen provide ID. This irrational action is difficult to understand and clearly violates citizens' rights under the Fourth Amendment. Furthermore, everyone knows that in public spaces, individuals have the right to freely film and take pictures. Is this officer lacking an understanding of the law or is he intentionally abusing his power to pressure citizens into leaving a place where they have every right to remain? Regardless of the reasons, the police actions are entirely unacceptable and need to be addressed. Metro, Let's see what they say here. Yeah, here's the metro right here they're coming it's cc 18041 hey brother how are you good bro yeah cool so i'm officer brother metro the reason that we're here what's your uh, badge number bro oh 16291 because they had an issue did, did, yeah did, did you educate did you have them? an issue with them yet no did you did you educate them she came you out and tried to say that no no i'm telling you i didn't know if maybe you came around the other side now because no, they can I come both okay cool on. 
Well, she walked up, said, you know, I'm on a public sidewalk. I can film anything I want in public sidewalk. I was just getting shots of buildings. I did that, Turnberry. Cool. I'm traveling. Permission from the Turnberry, or Turnberry Palace, right? Yeah. I'm like, I've been filming it for 10 minutes, but Turnberry Palace filmed their property. I said, I'm allowed to film anything from public. You have to create the privacy. I can film anything right here. I'm okay. in the right. Are you are you from out of town just taking some shots? I don't, I don't answer questions, but I'm just taking oh, shots. Good. I will let you know I'm taking shots. Yeah. Uh, no. Can you, can you I tell don't, me your name? No. So all, all I need to know I'm not going to ID for something because I'm not doing a crime. You accuse me of being a crime. No, I'm, I'm not accusing I'm filming from a you. public sidewalk right here. Hey, I never even said you were a I know. I'm just saying I'm not going to. I'm not my given right. That's a, that's what? Yeah, you need to tell me at least a name. All I got to do is type in a name. I'm a good citizen. We'll be good. Good citizen. I mean, because I've never been on their property and there's no, no call dude, on me. You're not in trouble. I know, but it's all I, I don't, just want to know what's so happening. I don't have to give a name. I refuse to. I'm going to go with Fifth Amendment and just not talk. I thought you were cool first. I am. All I'm asking is a name. That's all. I just want to know your name. That's my name. She wouldn't give me her name either, so there's no reason to give names. You're a public official. That's the only reason you gave me your name. The only reason you gave me your name is you're a public official. No. She didn't give me her name. No, it's common courtesy. That's all. Yeah. Well, I'm good citizen. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ID you. Okay. I just wanted them to be educated. I, only reason I hung around, I told her it's on film. I said, here, amen. I said, I was filming the bones. I'm about to leave, but you threatened to call the cops. And he said he was going to call the cops. I don't run from the cops. I'm going to stay right here. Okay. Normally, a cop comes and educates them, lets them know I can film from the sidewalk, whatever okay. I want. And as long as I don't touch their property, they can't do anything. And then once that's over with, once you educate them, I'm gone. Because I'm going down to this, you know, down to the next area on the strip. And so I didn't do it. So they wasted 30 minutes of my time, but now you can educate them. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, uh, you're the one that stuck around. I don't. No, no, I'm just making no. sure. I'm not committed to crime. Yep. Seems pretty all right. Not blocking any traffic. Nothing coming through. We drove off, but I had to wait for you guys. Okay. Which is all right. It's nice weather today, finally. Oh, well, you're in the shade. Okay. Can I look at the car while you're here, or are you not cool with that? I'm not gonna uh, make well, you uncomfortable. That is you're right. I can't touch it. So, oh, no, you're right. You're right. You got me, bro. You got me. I wanted to check out the car. So I I I'm good with that. I feel like you should, you know, I, I, pay I, it back with tell me your name. I'm never going to do that. Oh. But on okay. But on this, man, I'm going to make you probably at this point, you're like a B minus. You're doing good. A B? I don't have to give it to you because I'm not committing a crime and there's no suspicion of a crime. And I hope, I mean, that's what he's doing, I hope. Yeah, they're both Karens to me at this point because they wouldn't identify. Oh, you use that word, Karen. I don't like it's notable bro not even that it's like it's so uh, i know it's pretty bad my aunt doesn't like it that's her name <laughs> <sighs> how long have you been working out here oh if you don't mind me vegas? asking oh. before cop somewhere else california oh. maybe or something no oh, okay. how long you been out here in vegas oh uh, you know i don't answer questions oh good. But, I, you know, I like to talk to you guys and find out what you're doing because you're public officials. And, ah. You know, I like to show people that you guys actually do good jobs. State to state, man. It was very professional. I have to say, that's probably the most professional I've had in the last 10 approaches. Good. Name and badge number, bro? B number 16663. Yeah. This gentleman doesn't answer questions. And I just wanted to make sure you had educated them that I'm allowed to film from public sidewalk. That's the only reason I hung around. In public spaces, we always have the freedom guaranteed by the First Amendment. This is not just a legal provision. It is a fundamental right for every citizen. We should not remain silent in the face of threats and harassment from the police under absurd pretenses. We need to confirm your identity. You are not allowed to leave. You are under investigation. These are unreasonable commands from the police directed at a citizen simply walking down the street. What, do I look like I have a knife or I'm ready to stab you, bro? You're sitting here saying, like, why do I need to put my bag? Do I look, you're twice my size. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't matter. In any profession, mistakes in execution are difficult to avoid. However, in law enforcement, errors must be minimized as every decision must be certain and based on sufficient evidence to justify an accusation. In this case, the police made a serious mistake by only listening to one side of the story and stopping a citizen to search him on suspicion that he was carrying a knife. This clearly violates the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution, which protects each individual's right to privacy. Once again, we must commend this citizen for demonstrating confidence and decisiveness by remaining silent and not providing any information to the police which aligns perfectly with his rights under the fifth amendment no i should leave your bag down there please holy fuck bro power trip or what what do i look like i have a knife you're sitting here saying like why do i need to put my bag do i look dangerous to you dude do you have a knife? you're twice my size we're just trying to confirm you're not the suspect That's and how are you going to confirm there's ways to do so ah, not sure. like 
Yeah. Gray streak in the hair. Two is oh, here. Oh, I'm the guy. Male, 35, six foot one, lots of tattoos. Six foot one, bro. I'm about six feet and you're about my height. So no, you're not. We've got a couple. You have any weapons on you, sir? No. You don't have any weapons. I don't really no. want you to patch me down. I don't yeah. want you guys it's, touching me. No. Okay, yeah. so right now, Listen. you're being investigated. I told him he's under yep. Don't grab me like I'm going to run away, bro. Like, okay. what the I f***, don't, dude? I don't know you, right? Yeah. There for yeah. what? I explained it to you thoroughly. And so why are you grabbing me like I'm going to run away? I, I haven't done you anything any wrong, bro. Weapons on you, that's all. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm okay. What's your names and badge numbers, dude? I'll tell you that it's right here on the vest, man. Yeah, yeah 2562. Two, there you go. Why didn't you do that the first time? 2644. Perfect. Perfect. I Tell thought you were going to read it for yourself, man. Man, isn't it okay. your policy to at least identify yourself? So listen. Yeah, we did. No, you had to convince him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, you thought it might be a it's fake It's on film. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm confused? There's no confusion here. Just come stand in front of the car for a second. Thank you, man. What's your name? Is there any other way that you can confirm? Well, so we're, like, we're waiting. So listen, we're waiting. For what? what so? I'm not answering okay. any more questions. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I'm not, I, I'm obstructing okay. justice by not answering okay. questions. It's my right not to answer questions. No, you're under investigative detention. So I don't have to okay. further your investigation. No, but if you impede my investigation. It isn't impeding investigation. Yeah, I have the right no, no, not to answer questions. When you refuse to identify yourself, you, you are getting a better description. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. I'll wait until you guys, I need somebody else down here, like a sergeant no, or something. Sorry, just right there. Hey, Amen. So, I just would like, he asked me how it was going. Goodness gracious, dude. I'm going down to work out at the park on Briar and Rose. Okay. Well, we'll try and get you on your way if you're not involved, but I'd say we don't know. I'm not all knowing, right? I got to get down to the bottom of it. So I match a description based on what? A picture based on a verbal description based, based on, on a verbal what? description. The hair is the hair the same? Like you can't just anybody with tattoos that's around five, nine, you can't just pull us over and see. But he said, but they also said a, a white guy around 35 with tattoos walking this way. It's like you come walking this, this way. Walking this way, dude, he could have taken a left or a right anywhere. He, he could have. Anywhere, that's exactly. Why, that's why so you're not, hey. Particulable suspicion. And this is just that like. Is, that is enough suspicion, man. Is that's it? What, yep. It, it very much. Figure out, like, I'm not answering any more of your guys' you, questions. You I haven't have done anything wrong. Yeah, you know it's your right not to, not to talk to me. Stand on, right? Fair enough. Yep. You're not facing charges. I would need reasonable grounds. And just why am I being detained for? Because you're being investigatively detained for a criminal offense. I am hoping for an apology from the police, an earnest acknowledgement that they made a mistake and a decision to release this citizen. This is not merely an action. It reflects the caution and responsibility that law enforcement needs to uphold. thing is, is whoever it is is getting away right now Told you. Good to go. Told you. Spent, yeah, you too, man. Hopefully yeah. you spent a lot of time getting the wrong guy. The guy's still out there. Let's delve into the situation where an auditor faced harassment from the postal supervisor and the police while exercising his right to film in a public space. Hey, man, all that I ask you to do is just not, maybe not stick. You can ask all you want. What's your, what's your name and badge number? But you can go stand there all you want and video. Before the police arrived at the post office, the presence of the supervisor had already complicated matters. The auditor's audit suddenly became more challenging than ever, as if everything was being turned upside down. The atmosphere was tense, with everyone unable to take their eyes off the unfolding situation. Let's follow along to see what happens next in this dramatic context. Clear. Clear.
98.7 clear. 98.9 clear. Hmm. You reading that from there? It's thermal. That's pretty impressive. Free. 99.1 clear. 98.9 clear. Clear. Ninety-eight point seven clear. Ninety-eight point five clear. Ninety-eight point seven clear. Ninety-eight point eight clear. Clear. Thank you. Ninety-eight point seven clear. Ninety-eight point six clear. Ninety-eight point nine clear. Clear. Ninety-eight point seven clear. Ninety-eight point six clear. Temperature check. Ninety-eight point seven clear. Seriously? That's like a camera. Ninety-eight point six clear. Clear. Ninety-eight point seven clear. 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 Ninety nine point one. Clear. And double master. It's double safe. Six clear.
98.7, clear. Ninety-eight point five, clear. Thank you. Clear. Ninety-eight point seven, clear. you're doing what's your name can i ask you what you're doing do you have a name yeah i have a name excuse me one moment. i'll get the postmaster clear United States, auditors are not merely professionals. They are advocates for justice, individuals or groups dedicated to the mission of filming and photographing at public facilities. Their work aims not only to document people's activities, but also to promote transparency and clarity in how government operates. However, in this case, they are facing serious trouble with police intervention. These officers seem to have no respect for the auditor's rights, demanding they verify their identity and provide information, which completely violates the fourth and Fifth Amendments. It's truly infuriating to witness this. Hello, Mr. Robot. Clear. Clear. How's it going, sir? Sir, can I talk to you over here? Can we just talk over here? What's wrong with talking to me here? Car where we're not in front of the entrance and we can just have a little peaceful conversation. That's all yeah. I want. All right, go ahead and walk. No, I'm mind. not going to walk in front of you, sir. That's officer safety reasons. We can walk that way. Walk towards my car. He's making me walk backwards, guys. Sir, backwards yourself. Well, I'm going to keep you on camera. So okay, you, you can keep me on camera. I just want to talk to you. That's all I want to do. Hang on the camera. Without my permission, that's against the How far? Am I being no, detained? No, no. I, we're going to... Am, am I being detained? Detained right now just for trying to figure for, out what's going on here. That's all I'm trying to do is there... We got called. For, there's a verbal... De, there. Can you back up just a little bit? No, six sir. Feet, we're going to walk back here. Six feet, please. We're going to walk back in front of my car. In front of my car. Yes, sir. For what crime? There is a verbal disturbance here. That's all I need to investigate. Right. All right. Since they're an ID card. What's going to happen to me if I don't give you... My doc. I have to. I have to know who you are so I can trespass you if required. So that's verbal, all I need to know. Verbal is, disturbance is a crime. Stop being accused of a crime. That's what and I'm trying to explain. Why am I being explain. detained? Because there was a verbal disturbance. All right, we're not going to go There's down no this verbal route. Verbal disturbance. What route am, are we not going to go down? Gosh, sir, can you just listen? Are to you me? being? Are you? Are you becoming frustrated? Are you being coming frustrated? No, sir. I just want to know really my rights. Do you really want to go down this route? That's what I'm trying to find. I would just find. like to know what my rights are in this situation. Just like all your rights everywhere else. You're in America. You have all your you rights. You have a name and badge number? It's right there. It's okay. on, you can uh, put it on camera. Yep. I don't care, sir. Let I need to know his, who... His camera. Is, your, is your camera activated right now? Yes. Okay, make sure it's on. It's, it's been on this entire time, It's sir. covering your name. M3. Right. Say again? Yes, sir. M3. All right. I just need to know who you are. Then we can go about our merry way. That's all I need to figure out. Okay, who has complained against me? So Do you have their names? I don't because I'm not sitting in front of my computer. I need to know your name. What is your name? If I have to trespass you, I need to know who I'm trespassing. 
It's kind of hard to trespass an unknown person, isn't it? So I'm being detained right Who now. Who are you? I'm being detained right now for filming. Disturbance. That's what I'm getting told. There was a verbal disturbance, okay, citizen well, dispute. That is video. what I'm here for. I've got it all on video. There was no. That's what I'm here for. I don't know because I've been talking to you since I got here. Correct. Okay. Is, is, Correct. Am I being accused of a crime? What's going on? Why? I need to identify who you are and who everybody else is involved in this whole thing. I don't Can understand you just... why you need to know who I am to decide whether there was a crime being committed. Oh Can you just de-escalate a little bit? And... I am de-escalating. I am not riled up. It looks like you're getting up. very frustrated. Well, tell me who you are. You're not giving up your Fourth Unless Amendment rights. Unless you're going to uh, threaten me with arrest, I'm not going to volunteer any information. Who are you? Again, unless you threaten me with arrest, I'm not going to identify. What is your name? Again, I am, what I'm will happen to me if I, don't, if I do not? If there's a crime, then I'm going to charge you with multiple crimes. If there's a crime? If there was a crime that was committed or anything like that, then I'm going to charge you with obstruction. Okay. Well, if, until you tell, and tell me, and interfering listen, with my investigation, that listen, is what I'm going to charge you with. Listen, it's just like if you were driving down the motor by a driver's license or ID card to prove who you are. Can we get a supervisor here, please? I have two other deputies here. Okay. Do you need to talk to a supervisor? Because I don't believe you know the law. Okay. You're not respecting my my, my constitutional rights. I am here, and I got called here, lawfully, and told that there was a citizen dispute and a verbal disturbance i told so, you that i don't and i am not here to argue with you about the verbal disturbance i need to know who's identified and what stuff so i can investigate what's going on okay for the and third then if, time and then i am i would like to talk to a supervisor please 2334 2336 kootenai county sheriff guys can you come over to this location What's your first thing? You can call me good citizen. I can talk to you like a human being. I want to know your name. Sir that way I can fine. talk to you. Sir is fine. Nighty, can you go ask what's going on? And find out what they want done. Three squad cars. It could be all resolved you, very quickly, sir. you want to get a supervisor sir. here, sir? I already called my supervisor. Thank you. You're going to give up your name or anything like that. You are delaying my investigation, just so you're aware. I just want you to be aware. That's all I want. Well, I just want you to be aware that I'm not going to give you my ID unless you threaten to arrest me. To arrest I don't you. I'm not going to jail. threaten to arrest you. I'm just going to arrest you if I have a crime or something. You realize that, right? I'm not going to well, threaten. If you're going to arrest me, if, if, if it can stop me from being arrested, if, if giving you my ID stops me from going to jail, then I'm going to give you my ID. Well, that'd be nice. Okay, but if I don't have to give you my ID, I don't want to give you my ID. What are you doing, man? Filming. Like what, this? Yep. It's not too pretty. It's kind of a snowy day. Analytics. Filming. COVID-19. You don't have anything better to do today? You guys don't have to wear masks. Feet away from you, right? Well, he come right up on me. I asked him to step away. He wouldn't do it. I know the guy for years. He doesn't get agitated. Well, I got it on film, bud. Oh, man. I bet you do. Yeah. What's your name and badge number? <gasps> you want to identify? We don't have badge. Here, you're the one that's supposed to identify, not the public. Well, you're not our master. You're... you're not our master. I'm not saying I'm your you master. Stop acting like it. Why are you going down this route? What is what behind route all are you this? Talking? Like, Please why are you trying to do this? What is what is your purpose? Now I'm just standing up for my Fourth Amendment rights, and you don't seem to like that. It ir irritates you. It doesn't irritate me. Sure, it does. You have a right to know who I am. If I haven't when broken the law, you have no authority over me. You've illegally detained me now for about 10 minutes. If you'd like to leave, you can leave. Well, you just told me I was detained. Yeah, while well, this crime well, was if occurring. Well, if I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay. If you're going to leave, then. If I'm free to leave, I'm going to go back there. Why are you standing in front of me? You We're just said I was free go to back leave. There because I got to figure out way. what's going on back there. But if you're going to walk down the Am road, I, I don't care. Am I detained? You What's see how he won't tell here? me whether I'm detained or not? This is a tyrant right here. Okay, this... He will not tell me whether I'm being detained. This is the Kootenai County Sheriff's okay. Department, guys. 
Filming in public spaces like post offices is entirely legal under the First Amendment. So why is there an increasing police presence? Is their sole purpose to drive the auditors away? Are there any underlying issues happening at this post office that we are unaware of? It feels like things are becoming very complicated. Share your thoughts in the comments so we can clarify this issue together. Did you need us? Yeah, I did. What's going on? So, were you one of the officers that showed up earlier? Sergeant, okay, I had requested the supervisor earlier, but one never came. Um, um, well, I'm the supervisor here now. Some of your officers came up here, I don't know, about three deep, and we had a little conversation, and uh, so then they told me I can go, go ahead and go back to do what I was doing, okay. and when I did, told me to, to stop filming him and grab my camera. Is he still and, here uh, No, and everything like that. So, do I go down to the Sheriff's Department to file a complaint? uh you, we can take care of you now but we're gonna need fo need the footage for for video or for evidence take in comp or take possession of the of the of no. the camera yeah the data well i'm hoping you're gonna tell me the truth and say well i can show it to you right is, here this is the guy that or this is what's going on to complain on you bud but you were like way out of line bud. i was not out of line sir. come on okay, man guys 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 I'll, I'll, i'm gonna help you out here okay so yeah. you want to file battery charges against whoever actually what i'd like to happen is to tell i'm not here trying to educate the public and the so in the public servants okay the goal out here okay that's it okay i'm not up to anything nefarious and uh Me. traffic here Can so, I take, sir what's your first name um i'll, I'll okay, think about you, that you a minute take this over to that property? yeah i'll do that I explained myself multiple times to you. It's all on film, bud. I, I explained myself. Everyone, all, you okay? I'm fine with okay. that. I wanted so, you. I wanted to explain to you what's going on and why I was called there. This situation emphasizes the importance of understanding and exercising citizens' oversight rights in public spaces. It also serves as a reminder that when facing law enforcement, citizens have the right to refuse to provide identification without legal justification. Being aware of one's rights and behaving calmly and respectfully can help protect individual freedoms without escalating tensions in similar situations. This confrontation has reaffirmed the power of capturing moments when personal rights are threatened. Brave citizens not only stand up for themselves, themselves, but also create a strong wave demanding transparency and accountability from law enforcement. They have taught us a valuable lesson. Every time we speak up, we contribute to building a fairer society where everyone is respected and their rights protected. Remember, your courage can be a guiding light for others. And when we stand together, we not only protect ourselves, but also promote justice for all.